Thank you for having me. Cancer. We've all been affected on some level by this word. And for many of us, this is why we continue to do the research that we do. Importantly, it's been estimated that nearly 50% of all cancers can actually be prevented by healthy lifestyle changes and by policy to protect people. The two important lifestyle changes that the research group that I'm a part of has been focusing on is smoking cessation, or quitting smoking, and increasing physical activity. We've actually paired these two lifestyle interventions together with many of our studies. The journey for our research team started with some exciting data by Dr. Papavisis and colleagues illustrating that if people exercise, it actually helps them quit smoking. And this effect holds whether they're on nicotine replacement therapy or not. So obviously, Dr. Papavisis was extremely excited with this finding, but they had this problem where after the intervention, people often relapsed back to smoking and back to their sedentary ways. It was this relapse prevention issue where, that led us to our Canadian Cancer Society funded trial called Getting Physical on Cigarettes. In addition to the research part, what has been so fabulous about this trial is that our research team has had the opportunity to work with nearly 500 people to help them increase their physical activity and decrease their smoking behaviors. The data is still being collected for our primary uh, investigation on relapse prevention. But what's great about this is that we've had the opportunity to investigate several secondary issues. For example, after a couple of months of physical activity, our participants have so seen decreases in their smoking behavior, increases in their confidence, improved body composition, improved lung health, improved aerobic fitness, and for some people, even improved vascular health. We found that physical activity will reduce cigarette cravings and other withdrawal symptoms, and exercise improves the effect of nicotine replacement therapy, the patch. And what's great about this craving reduction finding is that it is felt for participants that expect that exercise will work for their craving reductions and for participants that don't believe that exercise will work. Either way, they all see a reduction in their cravings. We also learned that it is extremely important that we promote exercise as medicine. If a participant believes that exercise is a credible therapy, this will actually increase their chance of being smoke-free at the end of an intervention. And third, this grant has given us the opportunity to complete several other topics, such as smoking topography, psychological variables, harm reduction, smoking motives, and others. This research has also generated several ideas that have been funded from other agencies, other than the Canadian Cancer Society, such as the Ontario Tobacco Research Unit, CIHR, CART, OGS, and Western. One example from OTRU highlighted that if you exercise while taking a nicotine lozenge, you will actually, actually see a greater effect or a greater reduction of your desire to smoke than if you take a nicotine lozenge alone. On a personal note, although my focus hasn't changed, my employment has. I've moved from Western University over to Fanshawe, and I now work uh, in the Fitness and Health Promotion Program at Fanshawe College. And currently, uh, with my colleague Mia Tritter, we're gathering data towards changing um, policy, gaining community partnership, and creating student-led interventions, all aimed at reducing smoking initiation and increasing smoking cessation with college students. In addition to broadening my scope of research, I'm also doing quite a bit of a teaching. And I'm at the college partly because I love the enthusiasm of the students. And partly because I wish that uh, when I was their age, someone would have taught me or I would have had the chance to learn about extremely important issues such as advocacy, what is cancer, the importance of social support, and the importance of um, protection against UV. And I'm teaching because I want to be a multiplier. I hope that my students use the information I'm learning and go and teach someone else. And we can create a whole team of people working towards cancer prevention. Thank you.